there was just a dryer sheet on my foot and I thought it was a spider, so uh, that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> Hey guys, it's V, and today we are doing my monthly Rockstar or Subpar Ipsy vs. Play by Sephora. We are going to unbox my bag from Play. I was going to save my Ipsy bag and hold up the wrong thing yet again. And my Ipsy bag, which is weirdly in a gold container this time. I don't know if they ran out of the pink or if I'm a lucky ticket winner. I don't know, but we will find out. Well, there you go. So uh, keep watching to find out what that is. <laughs> And I mean, if you wanted to follow me on Twitter while you're at it, I wouldn't say no. So let's go ahead and unbox each of my boxes. I think I'm gonna start out with Ipsy since it's catching my eye, the fact that it is very different today. We're just gonna see what is inside. Well, this one has a better seal than the pink ones. So, I mean, that's a plus for sure. Okay, okay. <laughs> what is this? Is this Gunatama? Oh my God, Gunatama, look at him. He is so cute. You guys might remember one of my eBay finds. I actually bought a Gudetama like makeup beauty blender sponge thing. Did not work very well as a beauty blender. I still have it, but only for the cuteness factor because it was not a good beauty sponge at all. But look at him just laying there like a little egg. Oh my god. That is so precious. And we actually get this little book here this time for the Ipsy bag. So, oh, what is this? $5 welcome bonus, earn up to 30% cash back when you shop your favorite brands. Introducing Ipsy Cash. What is this? Um, I need to read because I would like $5 welcome bonus. The only beauty rewards program that literally pays you back. Okay, it says how Ipsy Cash works. You shop brands over 10,000 items from all your favorite brands, earn cash, pocket 10 to 30% cash back when you shop and receive a check in the mail or a PayPal deposit. So it's kind of like Ebates is what it sounds like. Wow, this is really cool. Ipsy is stepping up their game, you guys. I had not heard anything about this, so this is super cool. Dude, I'm definitely going to read more about that, but it sounds kind of like Ebates, so that's pretty cool. But oh my, look at Gudetama's little butt, you guys. His little butt is on the back of the freaking bag this <laughs> definitely hands down beats any other ipsy bag i have ever gotten this is precious okay let's go ahead and see what is inside of my ipsy bag do you guys see oh they have the little what is this okay this says over easy okay so this is the theme for this month's bag so very very cute i love me some good atama he is precious so let's go ahead and see what the first Ooh, it's a brush first thing is a brush i always love getting a brush in my ipsy bag i'm like addicted to makeup brushes i have way too many for my own good but okay oh this one looks nice I don't have one like this okay this is a brand that I definitely haven't ever heard of before it's called IBY Beauty and this looks like okay it says crease but I don't know if I would use something like this in my crease because it's very um, long and kind of stiff I would probably use something more like this in my outer corner but the brush is really pretty and it's super soft so um, that is a hands yes I'm hands I don't know what I was gonna say with my hands I'm putting my hands up like yes <laughs> for this product but this feels like it would be really nice let's do my shed test don't see any shedding happening so I think we are good to go on that so first thing definitely a thumbs up to that let's move on to the next thing in my little Gouda Tom bag Ooh, Tarte okay love getting stuff from Tarte they always have cool stuff I love the packaging on this it's very aquatic I think it's one of their rainforest of the sea things this is the deep dive cleansing gel okay um it's a decent sized sample I feel like you could get quite a few uses out of it let's smell it Ooh, it smells like like a kind of clay kind of texture I don't know it, it, not textured it smells like a clay kind of smell it smells like a clay mask or something okay so that's really interesting I have to say I'm not like crazy pumped about it I love getting tart products but not necessarily skincare like I would rather get like a blush or something like that like that would be pretty cool so I'm not super pumped about that let's move on to the next thing in the bag look at his little freaking butt I still can't get over his little butt he's just laying like flat down like me when I get home from work and usually don't want to deal with anything you just lay flat down on your bed for a little bit okay next thing in here is oh I think I've seen this brand definitely at Sephora this is the Caudalie cream sorbet moisturizing sorbet for sensitive skin which I do definitely have sensitive combination skin so that is good for me so it looks like a face moisturizer which I'm always down to try a new face moisturizer I actually love like samples of face moisturizers because when I get out of the shower I just like to 
whip on a moisturizer because I just washed my face in the shower and so I like to moisturize it. And so let's see what this one smells like. Maybe it'll smell nice. I think this one is something you can get in your birthday gift this year, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, it's one of those samples that is not full. I have squeezed it this much and nothing is coming out, you guys. That kind of blows. I hate when they do that. Woo! Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just came out all at once there and now it's on the carpet. So uh, yeah, that's what's happening. But yeah, I had to squeeze it this much in order to get any product out. So that's kind of annoying, but that's just how these kind of samples are sometimes, unfortunately. Just smells like a basic moisturizer. It doesn't smell like anything special, really. It's not a bad smell, but usually the smell of face moisturizers will go away pretty quickly. So I'm not too worried about it, but it feels like it's very thick and it will moisturize really well, which is good because most of my face is dry, but my nose is really oily and the sides of my nose are really dry. So I have a weird combination going on. So I will definitely try that out. I like it. I'm gonna wipe it off my floor now though, cause it doesn't need any moisturization. Okay, so, so far I would say Ipsy is doing all right. They don't have like great, super high ratings right now. I've only really enjoyed the brush. So let's move on to the next thing in here, which looks like an eyeliner. Okay, I'm down to try a new eyeliner. Let's see what it is. Ooh, it's by Ciate, which is definitely a high-end brand. I know that they sell it at Sephora and it looks like some kind of double-ended sort of situation. So I'm gonna take the packaging off of this. The packaging is super cute. This is called the Ciate Wonderland Gel Hole Liner which those are usually great. They usually last in the waterline really, really well. So, and then it's got these cute little stars on the packaging. This is super cute, you guys. Okay, so let's see. It looks like this side is a black liner. So let's just give it a little, ooh, very creamy, very pigmented. Looks promising, I'm okay with that. It's not too creamy, like it's creamy, but it's not super creamy to where it like wouldn't go on your waterline. And then the other side, oh, it's a little brush, what? What do you do with that? <laughs> I guess you would kind of like use that to blend it out. I don't know. I'm not one for a smoky liner look. I just hate the way that it looks on me personally. So I would not really use this side very much, I wouldn't think. But this looks like a promising liner and I love the packaging. So, I mean, it's okay. I'm not pumped, but I'm not not pumped. Like, it's fine. And last thing in my Ipsy bag in here. Oh, I've gotten something from this brand before. I got an eyeshadow. So I wonder if this one is another eyeshadow. It's from the brand Nomad, which the eyeshadow that I got was beautiful. It's like this bright gold color. It's really pretty. Okay, let's see, where do I open this at? This says it's an illuminating highlighting powder in the shade Stockholm, so I'm excited. It says it's a highlighter and I love highlighters and I love little baby travel size highlighters because that means that I can bring it with me if I like put want to put it in my work makeup bag. So let's see if this color is going to be light enough for my face. Oh yeah, that totally looks light enough. This looks pretty. I love it. It's so cute and little. I love this. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Ooh, super creamy. Oh. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, so pigmented. That is so pretty. I kind of want to put some on right now. I don't really have like too much highlight on. No, I'm not going to do it right now. I'm not going to do it. I don't have a brush in here that would just... It would mess up my whole vibes, okay? Let's just keep things the way they are, but that is gorgeous and I love it. So I'm definitely excited for that. This brand is really, really nice so far from what I've tried, so I'm okay with that. So, so far I would say I'm pretty excited about the brush and the little highlighter. Things that I'm not super pumped about but are just fine for me are the two um, face products. I got the cleansing gel and the moisturizer and also the Ciate little gel kind of coal eyeliner. So these are just fine. So I would say two out of five is not the best for Ipsy. So let's see if Sephora play. I feel like they have a fighting chance because Ipsy did not do amazing. So let's see what is in my Sephora play. Let's see. Oh, they changed the packaging of this again. They made it cute. Oh, oh my God, look how cute the bag is. Glamp, uh, glamp out. How <laughs> freaking cute. So cute. So cute. Okay, so this says Beauty Staycation. Stellar products are only the beginning. And you've got your $15 play pass here. I will tell you guys, I have still been having problems with my points being added to my account. So if you use these, please make sure that you also are checking your account to make sure that your 50 points have been added. Because if not, you should call customer service and have them add your points. Because it's just really annoying when you go specifically go in stores to buy something so that you can 
get your 50 extra points because I would much rather shop online and use Ebates and get cash back, but sometimes I'd use these so that I can use these and I don't even get them added to my account and then I have to go through the extra hassle of contacting customer service. Like the last customer service guy I talked to was like, wow, yeah, you do ask for this a lot. And I was like, yeah, I do. I ask for it every time because the points never go into my account. And he was like, that's really confusing. And I was like, I agree, it's very confusing. <laughs> so yeah, just make sure you are, um Make sure you're keeping an eye on these if you're using them. But let's go ahead and get into the products because this bag is super, super cute. It's a pink gingham pattern, as you can see, and it says glamp out. It is very, very cute. I definitely approve. It is super precious, although not as good as a little Gudetama butt, but I will say it's cute. it's cute. It's just not as cute as good as Thomas. So let's go ahead and open this up. It feels pretty heavy today. Okay, let's see if I can find the fragrance. That's usually what I like to do first. This feels like the fragrance. Okay, okay. We got the fragrance. All right, this is the Mon Guerlain Eau de T or Mom. Mon? I think it's Mon. Who freaking knows? But this is what it looks like in case you guys want to see that. Let's go ahead and smell it and see what's going on. Spray a little bit of it on the card here. Ooh, not something that I would think I would like, but I actually kind of really like that. Okay, what does it say that the notes of this are? I don't know. The freshness of Carla Lavender, an exceptional variety grown in Provence, provides a contrast with the voluptuous volup <coughs> voluptuousness of sandback jasmine from India, Australian sandalwood, and sensual vanilla tahitensis. I don't know what that word is, but uh, yeah, this actually smells really yummy. It's a little bit more um, deep than I usually like. It's kind of like deep, like flower bomb deep, which I do love flower bomb, but sometimes it can be too much for me. Like I don't want something so like intense and in your face. This one is definitely an intense in your face fragrance, but I really like it. Perfume sample down. Let's go in the rest of the play bag, which this is huge. What is this? Oh my gosh, we got this in my Ipsy bag last month, did we not? I think I just finished it. I just finished that mascara. So this is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, which I actually really loved this. Spoiler for my empties, because it's in there. But I really loved this mascara, so I'm excited to have another one. It was really nice. It made my lashes super, super long. So I'm pumped to have another one. I'm excited about that. I'm not mad about that sample being a repeat from the Ipsy bag last month. So let's go ahead and move on to the next product in here which feels very heavy what is this Ooh, okay I'm excited about this because you guys okay so this is the Madam CJ Walker Beauty Couture scalp strand nourishing dream come true wonderful deep conditioning mask hydrating and conditioning for all hair types that is a very long long spiel of a name there but I'm excited about this because okay you guys so I got my influencer box I got one from like I don't even know, five or six months ago, and it had a product from this Madam CJ Walker brand in it, and I just kind of was sleeping on it. Like, I hadn't really, like, gone and tried it. I tried it once or twice, but I randomly was, like, messing around with my stuff and smelled it, and it's this, like, brass seed, like, hair perfume oil, and it smells... It smells so dang good, you guys. I can't get over it. I need to buy the full size. It's like $26 for a hair oil, but it makes your hair smell so good. So I'm really excited about this. Let me smell it because that is the true test. I need to smell it and see if it's good. It's got a safety seal, always a good sign. Let's see. And I love trying out new masks for my hair. Like the It's a 10 deep conditioner is my holy grail, but I'm always down to try a new mask and see what some, what other better things might be out there for me. So let's go ahead and put some of this on my hand so we can smell it. I hope that it smells similar to that hair oil because that hair oil is my life now. <laughs> Ooh, it feels like it would be really good on my hair. Oh, it smells different. Like it doesn't smell bad or anything, but it's just not like, it's not even close to the hair oil. I still like it. I'm not gonna say I don't like it. And it feels like it would be really, really nourishing on my hair, which I mean, y'all see, we need nourishment up in here. Okay, so um, I'm actually really excited about that just because I love this brand. And it does smell good. I will, it just, it does smell good. It kind of smells a little like potpourri. But, you know, it's not like potpourri is bad smelling. I mean, the whole point of potpourri is to make things smell better. So 
It has a potpourri smell. I'm not gonna lie. It really does have a potpourri smell, but okay, let's go ahead and just move on. I'm still excited about it regardless. Let's see what else is in here. We've got another squeezy tube, so let's pull that out. Ooh, this looks like some aloe vera. <laughs> <laughs> looks like what you put on a sunburn okay so this is peter thomas roth if i'm reading that correctly so this is the cucumber gel mask i don't think i've ever tried a gel mask before refreshing cooling moisturizing calming gel helps soothe dry irritated skin with extracts of cucumber papaya pineapple and aloe okay that actually sounds great like i'm i'm actually very excited about that and it has aloe in it so that's pretty funny let's see what it smells like let's see doesn't really have a smell I'm excited to try that though. I'm not usually excited for a mask, but like this one actually sounds like it would be good for my skin. I mean, I do have dry, irritated skin, so I'm very excited to try that actually. Sephora Play is hitting it hard with these boxes right now. We've got a good choice for this month so far. Okay, what is this? I don't think I've ever seen this brand. This is Ren Clean Skincare Ever Calm Global Protection Day Cream. Is this a sunscreen? It doesn't say that it has an SPF in it, so I don't know if it's a sunscreen. It just says a protective day cream. I don't know. I gotta say I'm not super pumped about that, just um, off of initial thoughts. But let's see. Maybe it smells super good. Maybe I'll want to put it on. Let's see. No, it doesn't smell good. Doesn't smell good to me. I'm not excited about this. So foreplay, you were doing so good. You were doing so good and then you hit me with this thing that I don't know what it is. Maybe if I read the little brochure and figured out what it is, I'd be more excited about it. But off of first impression, I have no clue what that is. So let's go ahead and go into the last product here. Ooh, we've got a little chubby stick. What is this? A Clinique Chubby Stick Moisturizing Lip Color Balm. Ooh, okay. I've heard these are really good actually. I wonder if this one is like the ones that are really opaque. This one is the color Whoppin' Watermelon, so let's see what it looks like. Oh, definitely not an opaque one. Do you guys see that? There's like no color payoff with that. Okay, I'm gonna do it like really, really hard so you guys can see what the color looks like, but I just went over it like a thousand times just to get that little tiny bit of color. So, eh, I'm not really super pumped about that one either. It's nice for a good like hint of color. I feel like my mom would probably like this, so I might give it to her, but... Overall, Sephora Play definitely did better with the Superhero Mascara, with this little mask that I'm very excited to try, and this Deep Nourishing Mask, mask I was going to say mask mask from madam cj walker beauty culture so i think that sephora play is my winner this month and ipsy is going to be my subpar sephora is the rock star this month even though you got a little gudetama butt which is worth some points but it's not worth enough points that i was with how happy i was with the sephora play that was not english but i hope you guys will still forgive me um i hope you guys like this video if you did be sure to show some love to the like button down there and if you subscribe you can be a member of my muse family and i love you guys so so much let me know down below what videos you guys would like for me to film because i want to get y'all's input on my channel and what you want me to film so let me know down below in those comments and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!